good traditions like these that keep families together. Who needs Christmas or Thanksgiving when you got a spooky ghost story night? What do you mean tradition? This is the first time we've done this. I will kill you in your sleep, boy. The fuck you just say? You heard that? Hey guys, my mom said I can't miss with any ghost stories. She said I need to build a tolerance first. Seth, you're a grown man. Woohoo, Mingu Feast. My mom thought you'd say that. She thinks you're an enabler. You don't even know what an enabler is. Hey, you guys ever hear about the show Sesame Street? That show is awesome! Look at that fire burn. Look at it, it's so careless and free. Does it even know it's gonna burn out at one point? Does it even care? It's just a fire, dipshit! Alright, now let's go over the guidelines for the stories. First off, you have to use Mr. Shadow as a character. At some point in the story, you need at least a two-minute monologue warning of the implications of what they're doing. Secondly, you are limited to using only three races in each story. It's hard enough keeping up with all the characters are Asian, but when you start mixing and matching all different races, it's like dealing with the planteers, and no one knows what's going on last show. No, Gaston, we've been through this before. You cannot end the story in a dream sequence. The story has to take place in real time, a real place. It cannot all be a dream. That is a cheap shot, and it's not right. Uh. Alright, who wants to tell the first story? I'll do the honors, if you don't mind. Alright, Gary, start us off, then. My story's different tonight. It's about friendship and trust, and what happens when you go behind the back of someone who's supposed to be there for you. It's very easy to take advantage of a friendship, but one time, it could cost you. Yeah, Gary, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna stop you right there. This story already sucks. I didn't start the story, that's just the underlying theme of what it's about. Ugh, you're boring me, Gary. I was really hoping to hear a good story from you this week, but I guess I'm let down again. How dare you? My stories are wonderful and unique. The only thing unique is those 18th century bifocals. Get with it, nerd faggot. Okay. Anyone else want to start us off? I got a story. It'll scare the pants off you. Yeah, sorry, Frank, but you can't tell a ghost story until we figure out just what race you are. Sorry, Frank, it's policy for Spooky Ghost Story Night. You understand. Alright then, well, it's up to me to say Spooky Ghost Story Night. And I have just a story to do it. Everyone wants power and fame, but when it comes to the price, there are those who want it. You're telling us about the story of Galvin Khan again, aren't you? You mean I told that one already? Yeah, only about 30 times a day for the past two weeks. That's true, Gas Chamber? Grandpa's material getting stale? I'm trying to tell me now, you fat fuck! You're turning me into bifocals over there! Alright, this is ridiculous. I'm going inside. Hey, you guys want to throw Gary in the fire and watch him burn?